Hi guys, this is the first in a series of repair videos for the Vectrex Vintage Game System. And today I want to talk about the spinning ship. This system had uh, another problem with the white dot, but once I got it back up, I also had this problem, so it took that chip with it. So today I'm going to tell you how to fix it. I don't know if it's a common problem or it's a rare problem. I'm thinking it's probably a rare problem. But the problem ended up being a uh, chip, the IC302. And this chip is also used in Atari's that I just recently fixed, so I had a batch of them. And IC302's right here, right there, right in front of this op amp right here. And IC302. I'm gonna turn the machine off and put another one in and it is a CD 4052BE and I have another one just like it 4052BE and in the Atari for the 5200 that I was working on if you have a bad one your controller ports won't work so kind of a similar thing it's it's a mux so it, it does a lot of decoding so I'll just lift this up gently my tweezers here and take it out no that's a bad chip uh, you want to be careful when you put the new chips in pin one's designated by this u-shape indentation and it indicates that that is pin one all of the chips on the Vetrex go toward the front and they are pin one and when we put the chip back in the new chips will actually have the legs spraddled a little bit so you can just take your put it on the edge and you can push it a little bit on each end just like so just a little bit so all the pins bend at one time and that makes sure they're nice and you know fairly straight so they're not spraddled out so they'll fit into your holes and make sure you get all the holes lined up and you don't miss one because if you miss one it's easy to do like you might miss one and it'll go on the edge or up here like this it's not going to come on without this chip in there the system won't even turn on so if it won't even turn on after you do this you you need to check it again so make sure your legs are in there and don't force it it should just slide right in and it did make sure it's nice and firm in there and we'll go back to our back tracks and we're going to turn him on again go through the long announcement screen that we get here i still have alignment problems with this one as you can see and you can adjust the tilt with these variable resistors here you need to really do it with a test cartridge that i don't have yet but also do the length of the machine these vectors are really off and I don't know if there's something else going on that's another story but as you can see it is working now and it will turn when I tell it to so there you go and that's all you got to do if you have any questions concerns just uh, let me know or you can catch me on Facebook and the Vectrex Fans Unite group and um, be happy to help you with anything that I possibly can so look out for my other videos coming soon. Um, as I have time, I will be releasing those and posting those too. And uh, happy Vectrexing. Thanks a lot.